You know, it's it's something that I first dove into in the early part of the 1990s, the opportunity to grow in the present, to be in the now. Sure, I studied the words of the Dalai Lama. I mindfully stepped into Thich Nhat Hanh. A lot of Native American spirituality flowed through my mind, body, and soul. It was learning how to become a meditator and not just somebody who speaks of meditation. It was trying to become the activator and not somebody who just writes down a bunch of notes about different things in life that are connected to religion and or spirituality. Learning to live in the now is a lifestyle. It is a choice that you've got to do, and it's very very difficult because too much of our time is spent in the past trying to relive it or we are so far into the future because we know where we would like to be and we know what we have to do in order to be but the thing is the slightest person that stands in the way of your dreams coming true can actually activate anger and that's not a healthy place to be it can activate sadness because you're going to attack yourself for not living up to your expectations and you could be addicted to as much quality as you want but if somebody or something is standing in your way it affects your emotions not just on the outside but your eternal soul is flooded with bad blood hey it's arrow this is the choice this is what i was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day clearing your mind to open your soul Setting free the hidden voices in your head to let them locate other areas to grow without you. Learning how to activate this lesson is something you can pick up in church. It's something that you can read in a book that's been put out by the Dalai Lama or Thich Nhat Hanh. But where does it all begin? How can we make that choice to start purifying our moments in the present? How is it that we can keep both hands on the present without stepping in the back. What are the verses that you put inside your mind, body, and soul? What are the lyrics of a song? There is something that you've got to be able to go to when you feel like that you are in the past or you're spending way too much time in a future you can't control. Thou shalt not use thy Lord's name in vain is one thing that really has touched my soul because God created every one of us. He said, I am when we say I am. Anything negative is against the creator. See, every one of us, we attack ourselves at any given moment of the day. We are the doubters, and we feel like that we are failing. I am blank. Now, see, these are the moments that we should truly open up our eyes and heart to see how we're going to figure out what word we're going to use to put into that blank, especially those words that really do not bring harm to God's goodness or the universe being positive inside your soul. We are the writers, the chefs in a kitchen, the people that build incredible businesses that that affect other people's lives worldwide. We are also the teacher, the distance between yourself, your name, and where you're going to reach in a greater place. And what you've got to do is make sure that those dots are not separated, but it's one continuous line, pushing yourself into the identity of a self-made level. All right, I think we got to break this down and we got to break it down to the point to where the goal is to figure out how we can keep you in the present. Now, these are the actual words that were pinned out on this particular day, which was Monday, March 14th, 2016. And today is October 6th, 2017. So over a year has gone by. These are the exact words that were written. But when I say I, I want you to think of yourself. Don't think of me. Don't think of this as here's this guy that's doing a Dear John letter or a Dear Diary letter. These are my words as God was speaking directly into my heart after writing that first page about I am blank. Because I am doesn't guarantee me a place of safety. I could say I'm an architect, but that doesn't give me a license to make buildings. Being who I am is the journey. Being what I am are the lessons learned. But do the two mix well? One is the present while the other is connected to a past. I am what I will become. That creates awareness. It allows me to study the availability of tomorrow. Let me say it again. I am what I will become. The chapters to be written aren't equal to the pages already shared. Therefore, how is it fair that I or you want to judge what hasn't happened? Making room for growth is an effort. It's challenging and it's always overthrown by change. But if we, if we together stayed true to whom we are, the person that was given birth, then life, we'd still be clinging to our mothers, sucking at everything, not on a bottle. 
I am what I will become. Now, there's no message in this bottle. Instead of endlessly searching for horizons, the wonderful photograph that we all see inside our mind, body, and soul is only known for one thing. Well, it's it's what I would like to become. I am who I will become. That gives you enough space to grow in different directions. That screams forgiveness. That gives you permission to hold on to your own heart and then to help teach others to lend their hearts, to redefine the images that you have of an old self. We spend too much time comparing our present with a past which leaves no time for what we need to become and what we have to materialize. The avenue of reception should begin with acceptance. Give yourself the permission to believe more in becoming than who you've already been. Give yourself a gift of performance waiting for you to support what your vision has seen. It's a tough choice. It's a decision that you've got to do and you've got to stay committed to. And when the people around you don't believe in what it is that you're doing, it doesn't matter. Your hands, both of them, are gripped On the present. And being in the present is what opens up the door for you to grow forward. I am who I will become. You can't say, I am what I was yesterday. I am what my mom said I was going to be. I am what I'm about to become. Believe in it and then activate it. It's a choice. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.